Waymo is suing Otto for stealing, Layer gets more funding, Elon Musk addresses working conditions at Tesla, and more. It's Friday, February 24th, and this is Crunch Report. It's Friday! Woohoo! Let's get that tech news happening. Self-driving car tech and companies are so hot right now that you better put on oven mitts when handling. <laughs> They're being bought and sold for millions of billions of dollars, and the competition is insane. So of course, without a doubt, we'd see some theft come out of this autonomous gold rush. Waymo, the Alphabet-owned self-driving company that began life as Google's self-driving car project, has filed suit against self-driving trucking company Auto and its parent company Uber. Waymo says that Uber misappropriated its trade secrets and infringed upon its held patents. Specifically, Waymo says it has found evidence that Auto and Uber have been using elements of its self-driving tech related to its custom in-house LiDAR sensors, which the company unveiled earlier this year. Waymo isn't the only one suing over car tech theft. Tesla sued a former employee earlier this year for allegedly stealing trade secrets. With so much potential money at play, I doubt this will be the last time we hear of these types of accusations happening. Hide your kids, hide your car tech, you gotta hide it all. Layer, the messaging platform that won TechCrunch's startup battlefield back in 2013, announced that it's raised 15 million in Series B funding, and it's acquiring another startup, Cola. Layer makes it easy for businesses to add messaging capabilities to their iOS, Android, and web products. Cola, the company that was acquired, launched a text messaging app last year with interactive capabilities like calendar and location sharing, polling, and shared to-do lists that Layer believes complements its services. With the new funding, Layer will be focused building more integrations, continuing to improve its open source user interface frameworks, and developing technology in areas like artificial intelligence and machine learning. Cloudflare! Oh, Cloudflare! What the f*** did you do? Skipping over the technical details, the company, which secures over 5 million websites, revealed a serious, scratch that, terrible, scratch that, maybe grave bug that enabled things like passwords, cookies, and authentication tokens to spill in plain text on websites. Some of this information was then automatically cached by search engines. Translation. Though hopefully nobody knew it, private messages from major dating sites, full messages from a well-known chat service, online password manager data frames from adult video sites and hotel bookings were all leaked in what's being called cloud bleed. The issue continued undiscovered for almost five months before a security researcher at Google's Project Zero reported the problem to Cloudflare. Though, it's reportedly fixed now. Now you see why I struggled so much on the word to describe the bug. Ah. Maybe? I don't know, just a thought. How's this for a lead? Tesla employees may soon be able to grab frozen yogurt that stands around their Fremont factory and ride from place to place on roller coaster with an optional loop-de-loop. -loop. Sorry, Apple, it sounds like your spaceship ring campus is about to get outdone. Now, the story that sparked the nugget of musk-titude was a serious investigation into workplace safety, compensation, and work hours. Make what you will of Musk's clever conversation changer, it's hard not to appreciate the mental image of employees looping through the air, frozen yogurt in hand, and it's even harder to imagine that happening at one of Tesla's competitors like Ford or GM. Man, we've come a long way since the Model T. With respect to the actual workplace claims, Musk did take ample time to point out that employees receive greater than average compensation via the equity they get in the company. He also noted that workplace accidents are less than half that of the industry average, and that overtime hours are down 50% in the last year. That's the report for today. I'm Tito Hamzy. Crunch Report is every weekday at 7 p.m. Eastern, 4 p.m. Pacific on TechCrunch.com. You can also find us on iTunes and on YouTube. You guys, have a good, good old-fashioned weekend. All right, bye.